Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It's going to be my Best of Beauty 2019 and this is going to be all high-end products. So my tippy top favorites throughout the year of 2019, I'm giving them to you right here. If you're wondering why this is only high-end, I've actually already done the affordable favorites throughout the year. So I will link that video down below. And also this is not going to include eyeshadow palettes. So I have all the other categories except for eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to do a full video on best and worst palettes of 2019. Uh, this has been requested for me. I asked about it in a video and a lot of you said you would like to see that format and it kind of helps make these videos not be too overly long because I definitely have a lot of favorites to chat about. So if you want to hear my top high-end recommendations throughout 2019, why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so let's talk about some favorites. I'm so excited. I pulled out my sparkly dress that perhaps I might wear to a New Year's Eve event unless we don't do anything fancy and I wear yoga pants. I don't know, but I felt like this video warranted a fancier dress. So that is what I'm wearing today. Uh, like I said, these are my high-end favorites, excluding the eyeshadow palettes. That video will be coming next. I've done the affordable favorites. I've also done my makeup regrets of 2019 and also makeup flops of 2019. So I will have both of those videos linked down below. I did also recently do revisiting my 2018 Best of Beauty video and I would recommend either watching the original video from last year or just my revisiting video and seeing which products are still my favorite because there are so many favorites that I still have from last year. As I was making this list and pulling out all the products, I was like, well, wait, my Marc Jacobs bronzer. Wait, my Jouer Blush Jewel. Wait. And I was like, oh, those are products that I mentioned last year. So again, just because I just did the revisiting video, I will link that. I recommend you watch it if you want even more recommendations, but I wanted to try to keep this one moving along as best as I could. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with one of my personal favorite categories which is the lip category. So I definitely have to mention my girlfriend, Charlotte Tilbury. I was talking about her in a recent video. I was talking about her and uh, who else? Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. And I mentioned that we're girlfriends. Like we're, we're actually friends and we go out to dinner together and we do wine nights. And that was a joke. And I didn't expect so many people to take that seriously. I got so many comments and even like DMs about like, how come we didn't know you were friends with them? And I was like, I was actually just kidding. They do not know me. I, I mean, I don't know them besides their makeup, but that gave me a good chuckle. I didn't realize so many people would think that I was being serious when I said that, but my girlfriend, Charlotte Delberry, <laughs> when we have wine night, I always tell her how much I love her lip products because I really, really do. I tried her lip liner for the first time in 2019. This is the Lip Cheat. I purchased this myself from Sephora because when I was in store one time, I swatched the shade Iconic Nude on my hand and it did not leave my hand. And I was like, I have to, I have to buy this. They are expensive lip liners. Charlotte Tilbury is a high-end brand. I can't buy a lot of her products at one time, but I will save up and I will purchase the products that I do feel like are really worth it. The lip liners I think are fantastic. Iconic Nude, which is this first swatch right here. It's just a really beautiful kind of darker nude shade. I think it's gorgeous. I've already sharpened this so many times. I think that it's great. And then also I really do enjoy her Matte Revolution formula. I have the shades uh, Pillow Talk swatched, which is right next to Iconic Nude. And then also Very Victoria. I just purchased Very Victoria. Victoria just a couple months ago from Sephora as well because I really do like this lipstick formula. It looks a little bit more matte on the lips, but it's not drying. It's a comfortable formula. It's easy to apply and it's very, very long wearing. I wear these lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury so much. And honestly, I think I like Very Victoria just a little bit more than Pillow Talk because it's a little bit more nude versus a pink. And I tend to go for more nude versus like a really overly pink. I still really like Pillow Talk and times when I do want that, you know, I think that it's really pretty, but Very Victoria, this, this was a recommendation based on so many of you. You would comment to tell me you think that I would love that shade and you guys were spot on. And then the last one that I have swatched on my hand here, also from Charlotte Tilbury, this is JK Magic. Charlotte Tilbury released her Hot Lips 2 collection in 2019. I have a full swatch video on the entire collection if you want to see what all of the lipsticks look like on me, but a favorite from the collection was definitely JK Magic for me. This one is a little bit more pinky, but it's almost like a pinky peachy nude. I think that it's beautiful. This one is the Kissing Formula. I do prefer the Matte Revolution, but I, just something about the shade, once again, it's just a really comfortable lipstick. The packaging on the Hot Lips 2 collection was really, really beautiful, but I highly recommend Charlotte Tilbury lip products. I think that they 
are just so fantastic. Also in 2019, I discovered the Ofra lip liners and quickly became a big fan of these. I really enjoyed the shade Spicy. I also pulled out the shade Mauve, which is a little bit more nude, but Spicy, I definitely wear a whole bunch. Um, it is actually the lip liner that I have on today. I've sharpened this one several times, but then Mauve is just also a really nice nude as well so i really do like these lip liners i think that they're nice and long wearing they're kind of that perfect balance between being creamy and easy to apply but not too creamy that's going to slip around but also not too drying on the lips and i just think the wear time on these is really nice and then also in 2019 ofra released their lip glosses and i really really love their lip gloss formula it is probably one of my most worn lip glosses at this time i tend to always have one in my purse with me i have one on my lips right now as well and i have just i have worn these so much i highly recommend their lip gloss formula one of my favorite shades and one that i'm wearing is apricot dream and this one i feel like you might be able to tell that i i mean i have i have worn this one more than twice okay i also have the shade natural and then also rodeo drive this was one that they put out when they released their rodeo drive anniversary collection and i'm a big fan of that one so that one is more of a um, that one has a lot of gold to it so i'll go ahead and do the swatches of these though with lip glosses it is a little bit harder to to see them but i will go ahead and do my best here so you can see all of these lip products so here on the end of my hand is where i have the glosses so we have apricot dream and then natural and then rodeo drive in the back there is the gold one but highly recommend this lip gloss formula again just one of my favorites i also really do enjoy their lip liners but i think their glosses are fantastic also the glosses from fenty beauty i think i might have tried fussy in 2018 but diamond milk came out i believe this one came out or at least i tried it in 2019 and i especially really love diamond milk it's my favorite from the gloss bombs but i really do enjoy this formula from fenty beauty i think that it is a fantastic so this first one here is the diamond milk which is um very white uh, has uh, some shimmer in it too and then fussy is more of that pinky tone uh, again i think that these are great glosses i would highly recommend them a newer gloss that i picked up recently from sephora but I enjoy this one so much. I really did want to, to mention this one too. This is from Loveless Beauty and this is their lip gloss in Glazed. This is a beautiful lip gloss. From the first time I put it on, I was like, yeah, okay. It's this really beautiful, um, kind of like light, pinky, icy lip gloss. It's not too sticky. It's not too thick. It just looks really cool on the lips and I like kind of that icy tone that it gives. I think that this is a really beautiful full lip gloss i purchased this one myself from sephora and again lawless is a little bit more expensive so i was hoping that i would really like it and thankfully i do so wanted to mention that one uh, persona cosmetics came out with glosses in 2019 and i think that this is a fantastic formula i would highly recommend persona cosmetics i think they have so many good releases but their glosses i think are really beautiful too uh, this one here is in the shade honey that's the last swatch over here uh, which is just kind of like that light brown the glosses from persona are just a little bit more like they have a little bit more color um, they're not super opaque of course for a lip gloss but they have a little bit more color than some of the sheer glosses that i've swatched the apricot dream um, even glazed diamond milk they offer a little bit more color they don't last super long but not a lot of lip glosses really do but of course they're just really easy to apply and i think that they're a really nice formula again not sticky i don't like sticky glasses at all nothing that i'm mentioning here is sticky because that just i just can't get down with that but that is a really nice one and then hourglass they came out with these lip glosses i got a, a mini in a point perk i think it was a point Perk. I'm pretty sure that I got it because people started raving about this formula. This is so nice. Um, so this one is in the shade Sublime and I think these are such a beautiful lip gloss. Again, these offer a little bit more color uh, to the lips and again, this one is in the shade Sublime but it also has a plumping factor to it. It just makes your lips look, obviously I'm going to use the word glossy because duh, but just like glossy and plump and beautiful and like mesmerizing and these are really nice glasses again these are very expensive so i'm gonna use this mini until i can't use it anymore but i was really impressed with this formula 
And then finally, I have a lip collaboration. This was from Carly Bible in collaboration with Il Maquillage. They came out with uh, lip liners, lipsticks, matte lipsticks, and also lip glosses. I especially love the lip liners and the lipsticks. I do like the glosses, but I know I just mentioned a lot of glosses and I think from their collection, the liners and the lipsticks, I do like the most. So I'm kind of running out of room on my hand here. They came out with a nude set, a pink set, and a red set. Honestly, I, I like them all. Um, so I just swatched the nude and the red next to each other here. The red is a really nice lip liner. I just was rocking a red lip in my most recent uh, Will I Buy It last week, and it was the lip liner from this collection. I also have the lipsticks in the collection. So the packaging is a little bit bulkier. It's not the easiest to store these, but it's really beautiful. Um, the actual lipstick has like little stars and constellations on it, which reminds me of like Carly's tattoos. I really enjoy Carly Bible. I've been following her for a long time, so I feel like this collection was very her and then these are the pink and then the nude lipstick that came in the set I like that they look more matte on the lips they're really beautiful they're again they're matte but they're almost more creamier to put on they don't like kind of tug at the lips when you put them on and I've been so impressed really from the first time that I tried out these products in her collaboration I thought that they were fantastic so definitely wanted to mention those okay, so those were my lip products let's move over to the face because I have a handful of different primers in here first of all in 2019 I was able to try out the first aid beauty primers these have so much hype around them especially this one here which is the coconut skin smoothing smoothie priming moisturizer so this one is like a bestseller so many people recommend it and it is a, such a nice primer but another favorite of mine too is the pores be gone matte primer my skin type is kind of confusing to share at this moment but since i'm also going to talk about foundations i wanted to mention it i spent most of 2019 being extremely dry i have had a dry skin for several years now uh, about halfway through i noticed my my skin starting to change a little bit i think right now my skin is actually very dehydrated i kind of have this weird like i'm still dry in some places but sometimes i get oily um i think there's like a dehydration issue going on so i've been trying to mess around with my skincare routine and find the the best products for me uh, i'm also 32 so i don't have the youngest skin ever and i do have sensitive skin i used to not be very acne prone i definitely noticed more breakouts which again i think is because my skin uh, changing and if my skin is indeed dehydrated that is actually a skin condition versus a skin type so there's been a lot that I've been trying to figure out with my skin but I actually ended up really liking the matte primer um, because I felt like I still enjoy foundations that have a more luminous finish uh, a more natural finish even I don't tend to like like very mattifying foundations but I still like especially when I was dealing with more oils I like to still have that step uh, with my primer to help kind of mattify a little bit and then still be able to come in with a foundation that I really love and that's I think why I just use this one so much in 2019 but I think that these are both really nice and first aid beauty primers if you haven't tried them out I definitely would going back to my girlfriend charlotte once again uh her wonder glow instant soft focus beauty flash i was a little bit surprised that this wasn't mentioned in my 2018 favorites i think i found this at the very end of 2018 um so i didn't feel confident enough putting it into my yearly favorites but especially at the beginning of this year i it was like every other video i was mentioning how much i love this product i do actually have it on today and i've been messing with it getting it ready for this video but when um it just sits for a while it's to like like you can see a definite mark i have used so much primer out of here and i do have a pretty large collection i try new products all of the time new primers new foundations you know mixing them together so to have that much gone out of this primer i really do love it this is one of the most expensive primers like it's crazy but it's beautiful again i used it today and i've been working on making this list for a while and when i saw this primer mentioned i was like you know it's been a little bit since i've reached for it i think it in part because I've been trying so many new foundations there was so many new foundations that came out throughout this year I was like I'm gonna bring it back uh it just made it just does something beautiful to the skin especially because I feel like my skin has been a little bit more dull recently um again just with that kind of dehydrated feeling like it just my skin is not looking how I want it to look 
And when I put this primer on, it gives a glow, it gives a luminosity to the, luminosity to the skin without looking oily, without looking um, like your face is like greasy or anything like that. It is just, it is beautiful. It pairs well with so many different foundations and it is a favorite of mine. Uh, I also really enjoyed this one here from Ofra Cosmetics. Ofra, uh, I don't know if they released new primers or just like primers in general, but I know that they came out with these in 2019. This primer here is the Northern Lights Primer. I really like this one because I find it to also be a little bit more mattifying, which again pairs well with a lot of my favorite foundation finishes. So it leaves, um, so it leaves you a little bit more matte. It does a really good job of filling in the pores. So that is the one from Ofra. And then uh, the other primer that I really enjoy is this one from Milk Makeup. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. This is a primer that I went back and forth a little bit on if I should include it in a favorites because it's not a primer that I'm going to need on an everyday sort of basis like I can do the First Aid Beauty, the Ofra, and even the Charlotte Tilbury. I only need this for like specific occasions, but when I need this primer, I need this primer okay so this one does a really good job of making your makeup uh, very long wearing so if I am going out and I know I'm gonna be out for hours and hours or maybe I'm wearing a foundation that might break up a little bit quicker if I pair it with the hydro grip my makeup is going to last and it's really gonna last for such a long time it does a great job of kind of like gripping on to your skin and not letting your foundation break up or fade away and so for that reason I really do enjoy it and I did want to mention that one from milk makeup Moving over to my foundations. I have five that I'm going to mention. When I first made my list, I had 12 foundations that I could have shared about. Like I said, so many foundations came out in 2019. I have so many ranking videos. That was kind of how I was reviewing this, you know, craze of every single brand coming out with a new foundation. I'll link my ranking playlist down below so you can see that. Uh, because there's definitely some products, some foundations that I really did enjoy. But again, I wanted to hit you with my tippy top favorites. I didn't want to have so many in every single category. Because I almost feel like it takes away from the specialness of this entire yearly wrap up video. Like you just want your top top, top favorites in there. So one definitely for sure that I have to mention is from Wonder Beauty. This is the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I am such a fan of this. I have been raving about this pretty much the entire year. It was very early into 2019 that I tried this one and I love it. I prefer a medium, medium buildable coverage foundation. I also really, again, like I like the natural finish. I don't prefer super mattifying. This one is a beautiful medium buildable coverage, very natural finish to it. I think that it's, uh, I think that it wears so well. I'm such a fan of this one. I have the shade Light Medium for the Wonder Beauty. Another foundation I really enjoy is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This pairs beautifully with the Milk Hydro Grip. This one is actually more of a light coverage. I again went back and forth because I tend to really wear this foundation a lot in the summer or in the warmer months. Obviously, I'm filming this in December, but it's like... Just because, like, just because I reach for something at one point of the year, I don't think that I shouldn't include it because I'm not in that time of year, right? If that makes sense. But I wear this so much in the summer because, again, it has that light coverage to it. But it just has a beautiful, um, again, just a more natural finish. You can kind of manipulate this one a little bit with your primers or um, the other face makeup that you wear. But I think that it's really nice. It's not the longest wearing, which is why I like to pair it with the Milk Makeup. But then I think that these are just like a fantastic match. And again, uh, when I just want something a little bit more lighter, uh, especially during those warmer months where I don't want a ton of makeup on my face if I want to be outside a lot, the Dior is a fantastic option. Uh, one that I have on today, this is from Pure. This is the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. It has a pump on it. You can also open it up and it does have the doe foot too. So you get a couple different options with this one. Uh, this one is the one that has 100 shades, which is crazy. Oh, my Dior shade is 2.5N. My, uh, my Pure one right now is LG5. So I really like this one. Like I said, it's what I have on today. This one is more of the medium to full coverage. It leans a little bit more full coverage, I think, but because I am dealing with some skin issues right now, I've also been leaning more on my more medium to full, if not full coverage foundations. It has more of a natural finish. It can lean a little bit on the matte side too, but I really like the finish and the wear time is so nice on this. And it's one of those foundations that is... 
like like I said, it has more of a natural finish, but I just feel like it's it's very skin like. I I feel very comfortable wearing this foundation, even though it has great coverage on it. It's still very lightweight. I enjoy the wear time on it. As I'm filming this, I'm actually getting ready to head out and go to a friend's birthday, and I will probably be gone for several hours. And I just wanted something to a kind of help me with my skin issues, but not make my skin look even more dull. Like sometimes I think a mattifying foundation can, and I wanted something that that would last a good amount of time. This pure one is it, so I think that is a great one. Uh, also from Shiseido, I had such a hard, I had such a hard time narrowing it down to my top five. But really, I really enjoy this one from Shiseido. This is their Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I have the shade 240 Quartz. This is a really nice one too. Again, more of that medium to full coverage. This one is more of a natural matte finish as well, but it's very, very long wearing. Again, it's not too heavy on the skin. I did this in a ranking video and I ranked this really, really high. And I'm actually going to talk about the one that I ranked above it next. But I feel like if this would have been in any of my other ranking videos, like the different groups that I was doing, I think that this one would have been uh, the top one because it is just such a a nice foundation. I tend to find myself reaching for this one quite a bit. The shade match is really fantastic on it. It has some technology in it that's supposed to be like shade matching to you and I don't know if that's why I think it's such a great shade match. I bought this one online so I was just going off online not even swatching in store or anything and it's a fantastic shade match. Again very long wearing, very comfortable to wear, like the coverage and the finish to it. And then got a shout out my girl Pat. Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This was not a foundation I wanted to love. Whenever we have like the wine nights, you know, you have the wine nights with your girlfriends where you all bring your favorite bottle of wine and then you each have a glass and you try everyone's favorite. Maybe you find a new favorite and it's just fun. You all like are giggling by the end of the night. Pat always brings the most expensive wine. It's like, Pat, we see you girl. We know you're Pat McGrath. You don't need to keep bringing all the bougiest wines because I don't want to fall in love with your favorite really expensive wine because then I don't want to go out and buy that myself. That's how I feel about her foundation. This is a beautiful foundation and I love it and it is so expensive. Uh, but I do think that it is absolutely beautiful. The shade that best suits me is the Light Medium 10. A beautiful long wearing foundation. This lasted through me sitting in a hot tub, not like dunking my head in a hot tub, but like sitting in a hot tub with steam rolling up. The foundation lasted through that. Um, beautiful medium buildable coverage, a natural finish to it as well. Again, just very skin like, very comfortable. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of saying the same thing for all of these foundations, but that's why they're making it into my tippy top favorites for 2019. And Pat, this one is as good as the wines that you bring to girls night. I wanted to shout out the Farsali serums. I purchased a little mini four pack and the Skin Tune Blur and also the purple one, which is like the unicorn serum. Really like these. I've tried the rose gold elixir a while ago. It might even have been like the end of 2017 that I tried that one and I really did like it. My curls are just like... <laughs> My curls are just always doing their own thing. You never really know what's going on when I curl my hair. It's like an adventure. You just gotta <laughs> cross your fingers and hope for the best. But um, the Skin Tune Blur and the purple one, I really like these for um, applying makeup. I, I use it as my first step before I apply makeup. I use these uh, in lieu of a primer. Uh, again, the rose gold, uh, the rose gold serum as well I think is really nice, especially when I did have super dry skin in the winter. I would lean on that one quite a bit. Also, the Volcanic Elixir came in this set that I purchased, which, which is actually an overnight treatment. And especially because I have so much redness on my face, I noticed when I use this as a night treatment that redness is considerably has considerably gone down when I wake up in the morning. So I've been very impressed with it. I was really happy that I bought this because I can see which ones that I really like and which ones I would want to repurchase in the full size or probably the minis. Farsali does have quite a few minis. The Skin Tune Blur is definitely one of them, but honestly, I feel like all of them are really, really nice. And since we were talking about foundations, I thought I would shout out my two favorite sponges for 2019. We have the Over Perfecting Puff. I have like 10 dirty ones sitting in my collection right now because it's just one of my favorite sponges. I think that it's a fantastic, highly recommend. And then also the Dose of Colors sponge, the one that looks like a Hershey Kiss. These two were definitely the top two makeup sponges that I've tried throughout the year. And then four brushes, I do have one set to mention here, but I did mention a few brands in my affordable favorites of 2019. And then just some of my staples that I've loved for, for so long, like the Sigma Beauty brushes. I mean, I just think that those are fabulous too. They did 
quite a few collaborations I think it was in 2019 so I, I stocked up on a lot of Sigma brushes trying to support the different collabs that were coming out which was so very cool but one set that I want to mention is a collaboration with my friend Makeup Molly and the brush set that she did with Doll 10 Beauty oh my gosh she came out with an eye brush set these are just a few of the brushes I actually have a dirty one sitting next to me because I used it in a recent get ready with me video so here's another one these brushes are so good they are such nice quality uh, the looks of them are so beautiful I love the names that Molly came up with on these they're so great this is an eye brush set I highly recommend them makeup Molly is a wonderful youtuber and doll 10 beauty like I'm, I'm so glad I was introduced to the brand um, with these brushes and I would again highly recommend I have two mascaras to talk about and I had a few mascaras that I mentioned in my affordable favorites as well so and then again shouting back out to my 2018 video I still wear those mascaras a ton NARS Hourglass Milk I've been wearing them for quite some time and continually repurchasing them but one that I really love is from Ciate this is the Wonder Wand Mascara this is a nice mascara this gives you length this gives you volume and makes the lashes really black this is such a good one. It doesn't um, transfer onto the face. I actually took this with me on my Thanksgiving trip when I was visiting my family down in Alabama and I would you know, get ready in the morning and then hang out with them all throughout the night and I had no issues with transfer on this one. It is so, so good. This is more of a wet formula so sometimes you have to be a little bit more careful when you wear it with like looking up or looking down because it can transfer before it dries down. So you just wanna be careful of that but once it does, beautiful mascara and then also from ilia beauty this is their limitless uh limitless lash mascara this is such a good one now i did recently find this one from ilia beauty i've only had it for a couple of months so i went back and forth on if i should recommend it but truly since i got it to try out it's hard for me not to wear this one i have it on my lashes today i i think this one is such a good one again it gives uh, it gives length, it gives volume, it's really black, and this one, it says that it's a flake-free mascara, and it is. This one does not move. Once you have it on your lashes, nothing is coming off. It's not going to transfer, it's not going to flake on you. It is such a good mascara. I do highly recommend this one from Ilia Beauty. So even though I just recently got it, I still really wanted to recommend it because I think that it's fantastic. And then I have one concealer. I actually have so many concealers mentioned in the affordable one. So again, make sure to check that one out. But this concealer, I had to give a shout out to, this is from Giorgio Armani, the like fabric stretch. What is this one? The power fabric. I feel like the word stretch is in there too. But this is such a good concealer. This is a pricey, pricey concealer. I purchased it during one of the many Sephora sales that happened and it's excellent. I have it on today. This is something that I travel with quite a bit because it's the most, the most blendable concealer that I own. I don't even need to use a brush with this. When I fly, a lot of times I put this into my mini backpack and I can just dot a little bit on my under eyes and blend it out with my fingers. No need for a brush or anything like that. It's just so beautiful. It's lightweight, but it still gives a really nice coverage. I can use it to, to cover blemishes and all of that, but on the under eyes, it's so beautiful. I, I highly recommend this concealer. I know that it's pricey, but I think it's fantastic. Right, I'm gonna finish it off with some face products and then we will be done. Again, I have so many still favorites from 2018. Even all the powders, like the face powders that I continue to wear, those were all mentioned in 2018. Like I said, finish it off here. So I have from Jouer, this is the bronzer duo. I did mention the blush duo for my 2018 favorites, but in 2019, I was able to try the bronzer duos and love this. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. Pretty much everything thing on my face is being mentioned in this video as well but I do always link out all of my makeup uh, in the description box but this was the light medium duo highly recommend really enjoy uh, these duos from Jouer I think that they did a really great job this one here is a face palette from NARS I believe this is a limited edition one if it's still available I of course will link it but I I reach for this so much I travel with it so much that I, I like I do have to mention it this is their uh, Montutane face palette this came out in their private paradise collection and it's just a bronzer a blush and a highlight but I reach for all of these so much we have the Laguna bronzer which is pretty standard like NARS does a lot with their Laguna bronzer uh, and then the muck I'm gonna say these wrong the Makateo highlight powder and the Manava blush just beautiful love all three wear all three it's really easy to travel with this and just throw it in my travel bag my on-the-go makeup bag whatever it may be I reach for this one so much so I definitely had to mention that uh, also my girl Natasha her mini bronze and glow 
This guy was $19 and it's like one of my favorite purchases throughout the year. It's just this little tiny compact and you have a bronze toned blush, I believe is, is what it is, and then a highlighter on the other side. I enjoy both of these. I reach for this all of the time. Again, this goes in my on the go makeup bag so often. This was such a good purchase. I'm so happy that I made this. I just love this. Like, I'm such a fan of minis, and this little tiny compact brings me so much joy. And it was only $19, and I'm pretty sure I bought it in a Sephora sale. Like, basically, I won. I, I won that right there, okay? Uh, obviously, from Buxom, the Seychelles blush. This is one of the Wonderlust Primer Infused blushes. I have talked about this so much. I... I'm not going to be surprised if I see these in 2019 favorites videos as well. I feel like I hear a lot of people really hype up these blushes, but they're beautiful. I have Seychelles on today. It gives a really nice glow, but it's not too much. It's just beautiful. Seychelles is a favorite color of mine, just a very nude blush. I think it's amazing. The highlight that I have on today is a little bit more subtle for me, but I really like this highlight. I like the way it looks. I like... I like the shade of it. I'm just all around. I really like this one. Uh, this one is from Lawless Beauty. This is their Afternoon Delight Highlighter. I wasn't sure I was going to love it because, again, when I first put it on, I could tell that it's a little bit more subtle. But I actually like to use this brush from the Makeup Molly Doll 10 set. This is the Prepping Perfector. I actually use this as a highlight brush. It's a little bit more dense, so when I want a highlight, when I when I do want it to have more of a wabam effect, I use something more dense like this one, the Sigma F03. Something like that and it helps give it more payoff but again there's sometimes where I want a more subtle highlight not all the time but sometimes I do and you can get it with this one um, the shade of it is so beautiful also and I've I'm impressed with this one I purchased this myself also and I've had a great time with that highlight and then the final product my final favorite of 2019 I'm already gonna cry I'm already gonna cry <laughs> that's so ridiculous my final favorite of 2019 is my highlighter that I made in collaboration with Over Cosmetics. This is the March Beauty Word highlight. I am March Beauty Word on my Instagram, and we were able to combine combine two of my favorite highlights from Ofra. We have two pieces of Star Island and two pieces of Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk was mentioned in my 2017 favorites, and Star Island was mentioned in my 2018 Best of Beauty video. So it's so cool to look back and think of how long I've loved Ofra as a brand and have been recommending their products and in 2019 I was able to do a collaboration with them and it meant so much to me to be able to do this. It meant so much to get your support and love on this one. Uh, I recently did the YouTube rewind tag which I've done the past couple of years here on on YouTube and that was definitely one of my proudest moments of the year was not only getting that opportunity but seeing all the support from you guys it means so much to me so this was limited edition so it's not available anymore they brought it back for one day in December and I saw that some of you guys were able to pick it up once again but uh, it would be so cool if we were able to bring this one back and she's so beautiful and I'm so proud of it. It definitely had to be mentioned in my favorites and I just had to give another shout out to you guys for supporting this collaboration and yeah, it means so much to me. So other than that, those are all of my favorite high-end products throughout the year of 2019. Again, I will link everything down below in all of those other videos that I was mentioning. Stay tuned because the next wrap-up video is going to be the best and worst eyeshadow palettes. I really hope that you guys will enjoy that one, but let me know some of your favorites throughout the year. I would love to know. And other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.